Hey everybody, I'm here today to explain to you what a trap primer is. I'll be going over the small pipe that you might be finding in your floor drain and explaining how does it work. So let's get right into this video. I have a trap primer, also known as a trap seal primer in my basement laundry room. So I'll be showing you what it is and I'll be explaining how it works. And just in case you have a small pipe in your floor drain, this might be what it is. You can sort of do a little experiment to see if that's indeed what it is. And this is fairly new to me as well. I just found out what this pipe was a couple of months ago and I figured that I'd make a video about it. So essentially, here's the laundry tub in the basement. This is the lowest level of my house. We actually have like two levels of basement. There's a basement and then it goes down even one more level because it's a side split. So essentially, this is the lowest level of basement in my house, okay? And from that laundry tub over there, if we follow along the floor, it's a little bit messy, so I'm trying not to show you too much of the mess. Here's the floor drain. I removed the cap. If you take a look in the floor drain, you can see the little pipe sticking out over there, okay? It's like a little rubber pipe sticking out from like the clay piping. And it sits above the level of the trap water down there. So essentially at the bottom of this floor drain is a trap. And when that trap has water in it, it's a pea trap. When that trap has water in it, and there's a few other names for it, but essentially it's like a curved piece of pipe. And when that trap, that curved piece of pipe has water in it, it prevents the sewer gases from coming up into the air because that water acts as a seal for the sewer gases. So they don't end up uh, coming into the house. Okay. Now this is a floor drain that, that never gets used on the floor. Other than when I mop the floor in here, pretty much I no water goes in there, right? As far as I understand. So that pipe right there is connected to the faucet over here, to the laundry tub faucet. Yes, I have to clean my laundry tub. Trust me, my wife already um, told me a few times I need to clean the laundry tub. So I'm going to do it very soon. Uh, and I'm going to make a video about me turning this to looking brand new. So stay tuned for that video as well. But essentially, that pipe, similar to this pipe, but this is different, but a similar style to that pipe over there, is connected to this faucet. When I turn on the water to this faucet, I'm going to turn on the water. What happens is... I'll bring it over here. You can see that pipe is letting out a little bit of water into the trap. You can see the ripple right there, right? The pipe is letting out a little bit of water into the trap. There is the focus, okay? You can see right there. So what I'm gonna do now is we'll turn off the water now, okay? And you can see it just finishing up over here. So there you go. You can see it let out water. And now that I turned off the faucet, it, that there's no more water coming out of that pipe. Now, hopefully I don't drop my phone in there. So essentially what's happening is when I turn on the faucet over there, a little bit of the water um, from that faucet, from pre, pre going into the tub, like it's connected on the faucet side, not the tub side. So a little bit of that water ends up going into this trap. And what that does is it ensures that there's always going to be water in that trap, in that curved piece of pipe, as long as I use this faucet ever so often. Now, my wife and I have four kids, so I literally do laundry most days of the week. I say five to six days a week, I do one or two loads of laundry. I used to do it all in one night, but now I do it like, you know, almost every day just to spread it out along the week and make it a little bit easier instead of having to spend like many hours in a single night, okay? Uh, just for now, although I do value the one night laundry technique, it's what I always like to use. At this point in my life right now with the kids being so young, it's just better to spread it out. Anyways, side note aside, um, by using this faucet every so often, I'm ensuring that water stays in the trap and therefore creates a seal so the sewer gases don't go in the home. So essentially, um, the trap primer or trap seal primer um, just puts a little bit of water into the trap in the floor drain whenever you use a, the, the, the faucet that it's connected to. And that ensures that water stays in the trap and that ensures that sewer gases don't get into the home. And that is essentially it, okay? That's what it is, how it works. And in case you see a small pipe in the floor drain, because I didn't know what this was. I was like, what kind of drain? I thought this was connected to the laundry tub. And I was like, how does the laundry tub drain off out of such a small, tiny, tiny little, little rubber pipe? And then I realized what it was. So that's basically it. Um, if you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.